chilled leaf. Now, who's got pain in the body? Anyone got pain in the body? Anyone had pain in the body? Well, I know I have, and there's a good chance maybe you have. Pain is all guilt, and guilt seeks punishment. And when we don't let go of guilt, we hold on to it for a lifetime, we get pain, you see. So think about your pain now. Think about where it is in the body. Think about who it might be connected to. Think about someone that you might feel guilty about. Now, is it the right or the left side of your body? It's the right side. It could be connected to a male energy in your life. If it's connected to the left side of your body, it could be a female. Think about your pain. Think about where it is. Think about how long you've had it. Go back to when it first started or when you first noticed the pain. Backtrack six months before that. Did you fall out with a friend? Did you let someone down? Did an animal pass away? Did a relative or a friend get into difficult times? Maybe you weren't there for them. Maybe there's some guilt there. Maybe there's friends and family that you can't embrace. and you can, Maybe the hips and legs haven't been carrying you forward with this guilt. Maybe there's some pain there. No matter what the root cause, you can shift that pain by realizing that all pain is guilt. And guilt seeks punishment. And as such, if you feel bad about something, if you feel you've wronged somebody in some way, maybe when you were five or six years old, then you would have judged yourself as guilty. And you would have sentenced yourself to a lifetime of sabotage, especially when it comes to health and the body. Pain is an early warning sign to let us know there's something we feel we've done wrong and that we have branded or labelled ourselves guilty in some way. So think about the pain now and join me for a tap along and come back every day for 30 days. Let's see if we can turn that guilt into innocence. Let's see if we can now help you set yourself free. Release some of that guilt from the body wherever it may be. So we're going to do a simple EFT tapping technique. All you have to do is copy what I do. You can repeat my words or you can just listen to them. The effect is just the same. So I would like you to do just follow my lead, think about the pain in the body, and let's choose to let this guilt go. So gently start tapping the back of the hand, the karate chop. Take a slow deep breath. And just relax. Let go of all thinking, just enjoy the experience. To let go of some old guilt, because you're no longer guilty, you're innocent now. Take a deep breath. Even though, at some point in my past, I felt that I've wronged somebody or wronged myself and I feel bad about that. I feel guilty and that guilt has now manifested into pain to let me know what's going on within me. So I acknowledge the pain and I choose to let go of the guilt connected to this person or that experience. Think about that now. Take a deep breath. Even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this pain in this area of the body. I give myself permission to release the guilt because I deeply and completely love and accept myself in the moment of now. Take a deep breath and tap the side of the inside of the eyebrow, the start of the eyebrow. This pain, this guilt, I give my body permission to release and let go. I'm no longer guilty. This was a judgment I made in the past. This was where there was no judge or jury. I decided, I condemned myself to a life of pain and ill health because I feel I did something bad, let someone down or wronged somebody in some way. I judged myself as guilty. I completely missed the co-creation that it takes two to create an experience. So I let go of the guilt. I let go of what happened everything is meant to be, everything is a co-creation and in the now I can be okay with it. Tap the side of the eye, take a deep breath. This pain, this guilt about whatever happened, that was then, this is now. It no longer matters. I may have judged myself overly harshly, condemned myself as guilty and now I choose to let go. Tap under the eye. This guilt this pain. Pain seeks punishment and I've been punishing myself ever since I felt bad about something. Take a deep breath. 
Think about how long this pain has been there. Backtrack. Who did you upset? Who did you fall out with? What happened? Did someone pass away? Maybe an animal? Just think about what happened just before this pain in the body started. Who you fell out with? Who, you, who do you feel you wronged? Who did you judge yourself guilty? And how have you been punishing yourself ever since is with the pain of which we can now acknowledge as our own creation and let it go. This pain, this guilt, I willingly release and let go. This pain in the body, this guilt that seeks punishment. I give my body permission to release this resistance because it doesn't matter anymore. Maybe I was harsh on my judgment. Maybe I was innocent all along. But I don't deserve a lifetime of condemning myself to feeling bad and guilty and a lifetime of ill health and pain. Tap the chin. Take a deep breath. This pain, this guilt, about whatever happened, I release and let go. This pain, this guilt, I release and I let go. This pain, this guilt, I release and I let go. Tap the collarbone with the tips of the fingers. All this pain, all this guilt, all this self-judgment that I've done something so terribly bad that I've got to suffer pain for life. Well, it's simply no longer true. Justice was not served. There was an error of judgment and I was harsh on myself. And if I made this judgment when I was a child, maybe 30 years may have passed. And if so, I could have committed murder and got out earlier than now. So I think I've served my time. I think I've been punished and I can now release the guilt and free myself forever. Tap under the arm three or four inches below the armpit with the palm of the hand. Take a deep breath. All this guilt, all this anger, I did something wrong, all this resentment, all this worry and doubt. It's all been chipping away at my confidence and self-esteem all these years. I now choose to release. I now choose to let go. Take a deep breath and go back to the start of the eyebrow. I lovingly release the past. I set them free and I set myself free. All is well in my heart now. I am innocent. Take a deep breath. I lovingly release the past. It's over now. I'm free. I am innocent to be myself in the now. Under the eye. Take a breath. I've served my time. I've been punished. I did it myself. Now I make a new judgment. One that says I was innocent all along. I don't have to feel bad anymore. I don't have to feel guilty. Now I can break free and be myself. I am innocent. Tap under the nose. I am innocent of all self-criticism, all self-blame, all self-judgment and all self-guilt. I was only young when I made that judgment and it was a long time ago. I've served my time and now I deserve this break. I am free. I am innocent. This pain in my body, I release and let go. This pain was telling me all along that I was condemning myself as guilty, and I'm not. I'm innocent, so therefore I give my body permission to release the resistance, the resistance that is that pain. No more punishment, no more harsh judgment. I am innocent, and I am free. Tap the collarbone. I am innocent, I am free. I've done nothing wrong in the now. It's okay, it's safe. I am secure, I can trust myself in the now. I am truly innocent. Tap under the arm. Take a deep breath. I am innocent. I return back to the self. I trust the self. I never made an error of judgment. I simply just took responsibility in that moment just blame myself. We all do it. But now I can see sense. Now I can realise that I truly am innocent and I can release and I can let go. Take a deep breath and tap the top of the head, the crown. I am free now. Peace is in my heart. I've done nothing wrong. I am innocent. So bring me the best of what I'm able to receive right now. And I give my body permission to release all resistance and return to a state of health and well-being. 
So bring me the best of what I'm able to receive right now. Stop tapping, take a deep breath. And relax and let go. Now come back every day for 30 days and make that commitment to judge yourself innocent in the present, to remind yourself that you don't have to feel bad, you've done nothing wrong. So keep tapping every day for 30 days, tap away the guilt and the body will return to health and well-being. This is David Childley, thank you for tapping along with me today. Now if you'd like some help, you'd like some one-on-one -on -one support, some airtime on Skype, then here's an opportunity for us to work together. Why don't you check the link now? Go and have a look at my private coaching page. Become one of my longer term private clients on Skype, where each week we get an opportunity to coach you at a root level, a coaching program that's bespoke and exact for your needs. So if you've enjoyed this tapping, then why not do some more? Why not make them a commitment? Click that link now, you'll be glad you did. This is David Childy, take care. I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.